Hi, and we're here once again. I'm going to be showing you in this lesson how to utilize the keynote features. You could find these tutorials in apple.com forward slash tutorials. The way you could go is the following. We go down to our dock, we find Safari, we click on it, it opens. On the left hand side, you're going to sc scroll down and you're going to see something that says Mac Basics. IPhoto, iMovie, iWeb, Mobile Me, sorry, Music, and iWorks. You want to go into the iWorks suite. There are several videos for the several applications that it has. Now let's go into Keynote. You'll see the template chooser where you can open your documents and preview themes by skimming over the tiles with your pointer. There are many themes to choose from, and once you find the one you like, just double click it to get started. The first slide Keynote will add to the presentation is a title slide. All templates include placeholder text and graphics that you can change. Just click the title and then type in your own. Builds make objects appear on your slides, and effects give them more impact. To apply a build, open the inspector. It has everything you need to add effects and animations. Next, click the Build button, and then select an effect from the pop-up menu. You'll see a preview in the inspector, and if you want to see it again, just click anywhere in the preview window. To add another slide, click the New button. To change what the slide looks like, click Master in the toolbar. All the templates include many different types of master slides, such as title slides, bullet slides, and photo slides. To choose one, select it from the list, then just double click and start typing. And with bullets, pressing Return automatically adds another bullet. To replace the placeholder image with your own, just click Media and then click Photos. Here you can see the photos in your iPhoto library. You can skim your events and then open them to see the photos inside. When you find the one you want, drag it to the slide and drop it over the placeholder to replace it. When you move from slide to slide, you can use transition effects to make your presentation more dynamic. To do that, select the Okay, we stopped here for a second. I want to review what they were talking about placeholders, title bar, and bullet points. A placeholder is, as you see right now, is where the house is. Before it was some kid or something there, I don't remember exactly. But what a placeholder does is that you just have to go inside your iPhoto library inside your inspector. Your inspector is a preview pane of all the different media types you have. For example, music, videos, um, photos, and links. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag a picture into the placeholder and it's automatically going to readjust itself to that particular placeholder without moving anywhere. That is on the left side. Sorry, that is on the right side. And on the left side, you have bullets of specific key points of, for example, this house. Anyway, we're gonna continue. And we have a little bit more, so hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, so once again, I'm here and I'm willing to help you with anything you need. Slide in the thumbnail view. Then, in the inspector, click Transitions.
Next, choose an effect from the pop-up menu. After you spend a little more time building your presentation, you'll want to see what it looks like. To do that, just select the first slide, click the play button, and then Keynote will present your slides. With Keynote, you'll be building impressive presentations in no time. And that is using the first element of Keynote. We are now going to scroll down and see the second chapter, chapter two. Organizing your slides in Keynote. While you're creating your slideshow in Keynote, you can group and organize your slides to make them easier to work with. These slides are all about the same topic and can be grouped together. Just press the shift key while you click the slides. Then drag them to the right. You can select a subset of slides and indent them even further. Instead of dragging the slides, you can press the tab key on your keyboard. Now we can collapse all the indented slides just by clicking the disclosure triangle. This makes it a lot easier to scroll up and down through your slides. If you don't want the slides indented anymore, just drag the first slide to the left. Moving the first slide in a set moves the whole set. Or press Shift tab. Here's a great way to work with slides that have a lot of graphics in them. Click View in the toolbar and choose Light Table. Now you can see a lot more slides at once. Drag the slides to rearrange them. If you're okay, um, what they just talked about there is when you have numerous slides of the same type, you can group them together by hitting Shift Tab and it's going to indent one. By doing that, you're going to just group them together. If you have, for example, 50, 60 slides or, or 15 slides or maybe even 5 slides, you have a better idea. The other pane that he was talking about was to see the whole slideshow in a table, for example, and you could know what is what, and you could easily drag and drop here and there and change your presentation on the fly. This is a different element of what he's talking about. Let's see what he says now. Presentation is mainly text. Click View and choose Outline. Now you can see the contents of more slides at once. And you can edit the text right in the slide navigator by double clicking. You can also drag bullets to rearrange them. With Keynote, it's easy to switch between these three views so you can quickly organize your work. Okay, this presentation is over. This is presentation uh, part one and two. Please join us again in your next class for part three and four. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And you have, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate in contacting me. My email address is juan2617 at gmail.com or you could always find me on Skype at skype forward slash 12617. And we could chat live and I could answer any of your questions. Once again, thank you so much for joining me and please come again. Take care.